All right, all right, all right. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Zach Zyler, and... Boy, James Zyler, how we doing? Um, today, you guys, we're going to have a difficult time doing this voiceover because we have a single microphone here. We're both special as well. We are very special. And already, Corey has failed and forgot that he has to hold the microphone when he talks so that you guys can actually hear us in this video. And we're hoping we can do this in one to two takes. Um, we're going to do it to the best of our ability. And, yeah, so, Corey, do you want to update people on your life, you know, lifting and stuff like that? Well, basically, the only thing I do in my life right now, I get up, and I go to work, and then I go to the gym. Either that or I play some slow-pitch softball, that beer league. So, yeah, Corey's just getting back into the gym. Um, we weren't doing anything too aggressive just going through a chest workout. It has been probably six to eight months since you guys have seen Corey on the channel. And the last time you did see Corey, um, last I remember, he was deadlifting over like 600 pounds. What was your max deadlift? 605, thank you very much. Bench press, I, uh, my max was 325, I believe. So essentially, Corey's deadlift was stronger than mine and his bench blew mine out of the water so it's kind of cool because everyone thinks Corey's the older brother when realistically he's two years younger 20 months 20 months younger than I am but in this workout specifically you guys are gonna see um, relatively soon we wanted to do some egotistical type lifting some Bradley Castleberry type rep ranges where we basically what do you want to call that fake spotting uh, Corey made me put 405 on the bench, and he helped me get it for two reps. You guys are going to see that. And we just wanted to mess around with heavy weights, just feeling the weight, what it's like at the top of the movement and everything. And there wasn't anyone really in the gym, so we weren't there to, what do you want to call that? Drop jaws. Drop jaws at all. Yeah, we weren't trying to drop any panties or anything. We just wanted to go through. Like, And this is where it begins. Maybe I was. Well, obviously, like, how much were you helping on each of these sets? A lot? I wasn't helping too much. I made, I basically let him do it himself. But, you know, impressive. I wasn't trying to let him die or anything. Yeah, like, on a lot of these sets, when I was spotting Corey, I kind of, like, did a very horrible job. You guys will see, like, one side was so far diagonal. I don't know. It's just I'm not used to spotting someone like this where you're cheating for them. Look, look at that. I was, I was perfectly straight and helping him perfectly. Watch this. I mean, this one wasn't too bad, but it was still a struggle. Look at the, my left side right there. Couldn't even do anything. I was yelling at him the entire time it was going on. <laughs> it's because I wasn't centered with the bench. But I don't know. It's weird. Like, this is a cool thing to do. Like, if you control the negative to a degree and allow your spotter to just lift the weight for you and then you go back into the negatives, it's stupid. But neither of us, like Corey and I, neither of us train with a spotter normally. Um, it's usually us on our own, so stuff like this is cool to do from time to time just to mess around and just get that stupid video footage as if I'm benching 365 right here when realistically I wouldn't even be able to do that for half a rep. 405. 405. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let Corey take it away. What do you want to talk about? You know, I really don't know what to talk about, so it's all you. Oh, my God, thank you. Um, hopefully we can get some more video footage um, between Corey and I both. Uh, look at what I was going to name this video. Do you see the title? I originally was going to title this video Eminem and Mac Miller do a workout together, but I think I'm going to save that for a future collab that Corey and I do at some point in time. Um, but after the bench pressing, did we do incline at all? What? Oh, yeah, someone was on the incline. So we went into some decline Smith machine presses for that isolation on the lower chesticles. Corey's taking a nice struggle there with that 275. I don't want to talk about it. But no, we, we don't have like a, an actual decline bench in our gym. So you kind of have to rig it up, like go into the squat rack and have a decline bench. And I'm not really a fan of that personally. I know Corey isn't a fan of that either. At least with the Smith, Smith machine, you're locked into place. Um, but talk about these dumbbell presses for a moment. You haven't talked. I don't like to talk. I'm very, yeah. No. Uh, I believe I went up to the uh, fucking in the 90s, 90? 90 or 95s, I believe, on the incline dumbbell press. Right, so I don't have a YouTube channel, so <laughs> I don't want to talk about yes, it. I, I do, but I don't have any videos for it, so I don't. I yeah, I don't know. I don't talk. I'm very. 
All right. So, yeah, this is, like, essentially the end. Um, did we already say? No, we didn't mention. Okay. This is the transition I wanted to make earlier. So, as I said, Corey was deadlifting over 600 pounds. He was benching over 300 pounds. His squat at one point in time was over 400 pounds. Um, but all of that went away with Corey recently getting mono. That's something we should have mentioned, isn't it? That's kind of important. You just got over mono a few weeks ago. And that's something that obviously takes so much physicality out of you. And, Corey, you, tell them about your side effects from that, like how you lost weight and stuff. Well, basically, I found out I had mono. I had to go to the hospital. I got on prednisol. And I guess that pretty much helped me lose 30 pounds with not eating anything whatsoever other than, like, popsicles and ice cream and stuff that goes down my throat pretty easy. That's what she that's said. What she said. <laughs> but... I pretty much was useless, and for the next six weeks or seven weeks, I was pretty much dead, had no energy, nothing, couldn't go to the gym or anything, and I was out of work for a month or two months almost, but yeah. So that's one thing to keep in mind, and Corey right now is like the most shredded he's been in a while. I say that, and during this voiceover, during this voiceover right now, Corey is scarfing down some ice cream, so isn't that hilarious, but... But at the end of this video, um, you're going to see some posing updates by the both of us. And Corey's abs and his obliques, everything, it's just in right now. And Corey... I've never had abs in my entire life. Well, I mean, you have them right now. It's just Corey is not one of these gigantic fitness guru guys. He really doesn't care. He likes to go to the gym to, to lift heavy, to get stronger, and, you know, just maintain everything and stay athletic. Isn't that the main reason you go? Yeah, like right here, here it is, like, Corey's obliques, you can see his serratus coming into his obliques and everything, he has not been this, he hasn't been this lean in forever, his delts have those little details and everything, it's just so crazy, and you can see where my arm genetics come from, the both of us just have a, them, them Zyler arm genetics, yeah, I mean, Corey's damn arms are probably, where do we measure them at? Last time I measured them, they were, I believe, 18 and a half. Your arms are, they are not 18 and a half. We're going to do an arm measuring. Okay, well, we're going to measure Corey's arm in a future video to find out just how big his damn arms are because if they're 18 and a half, they're probably rivaling mine. I don't know at this point in time. But that's the end of the video. Corey, do you want to do a wrap up here? Let's look how much time we have left. Well, thank you all for watching this video. I apologize. Don't follow me. I'm kidding. No, Corey's out of there. Follow me. I don't care. Hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, I guess, too. Whatever. Either way. But thank you for watching the video. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. Love you all so much. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Bye.